Hello and welcome along to British Brass Banding with me, Andy, bass trombone, ex- well not extraordinaire, bass trombone trier. Probably that's the best uh, description. So you may be wondering why I'm wearing my band uniform. Why are you wearing your band uniform, Andrew? Well, if you keep watching this video, you might just find out. So this video is all about how I prepare to go on stage at our contest, which we're doing tomorrow. So we're going up to Durham to compete in the North of England Brass Band Championships and hopefully we'll do well but we won't know until tomorrow. <laughs> so these are a few little tips um, which may help you as you prepare to do a concert or a contest or something like that. So firstly, read your scores. So what I like to do is the day before and also on the day, just quickly run through my scores, check for any notes that I've made because our musical director has spent weeks, well, months, working on this piece with us, telling us what she would like us to do, how to perform parts. There might be, for me, little things about when to put my mute in or when to prepare my mute. And it's just good to refresh myself so then it's fresh in my head when I go on stage because the when you're going on stage, there's a lot going on and it's easy to forget sort of little simple things. So that's my, my first one. Uniform. So why am I wearing my uniform? So as I approach a contest or a concert, um, I like to wear my uniform because it gets me in the right sort of mindset and the feelings and experience that I'll have when I'm on stage. So wearing my uniform means I'll be wearing my bow tie, my high collar, and I'll have certain restrictions around my arms and my shoulders, which you don't normally have when you're at a rehearsal. So for me, wearing the uniform is really handy because it just provides that sort of experience. Okay, moving on. I like to make sure that all my kit is in order. So I empty out my trombone case, I check I've got all my bits and pieces, all my um, lubricants, um, tuner, etc. anything which I may need on the day. Make sure it's all in there, pack it away. And I also like to take this opportunity to give my trombone a good clean as well, give it a polish, and just have that sense of pride about myself and about my instrument. And make myself feel as presentable as possible when I go on stage. I just walk on with some pride um, and try and perform to the best of my ability. So to prepare myself, this is a bit of a weird one. I like to run up and down stairs a few times. So it's a really good little thing to practice. And if you've never done it before, just try it. So running up and down the stairs gets you slightly out of breath and raises your heart rate. And what that in turn does is it simulates the feeling that you have when you're nervous. <sighs> so that's that sort of feeling is that just that feeling of being a little bit out of breath. Um, and it's it's probably as close as I can actually get to that feeling of nervousness. So raise heartbeat, um, slight breathlessness, pick my instrument straight up and just start playing. And that's probably as close as I can get. Something that I also do, which people laugh at me but I don't really care is on my stand um, I've got a picture of the Gala Theatre so that's where we're going to be doing our concert tomorrow tomorrow Ooh. Um, and just it just helps me visualize it so when I get to the venue I remember how it looks and I so I've got a visual interpretation of you know what I'm going to be seeing and um, when I'm stood on stage it's not quite the same but it's probably as close as, as I can actually get and that's just some of the few things that I like to do um, just to make sure that I'm as concert ready or contest ready as possible so it's less than um, 24 hours now t- till I'll probably be on stage by now I would have thought by tomorrow unless we we're uh, last on um, so wish me luck and thank you so much for all the new subscribers to my channel really do appreciate it and I'll be popping a video up next week um, with a rundown of what happened at the contest so until then hope you all have a great weekend and we'll see you soon on British Brass Banding Thank you.